Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. Today, I have something very simple with me. It's just a piece of paper. There's a lot that we could do with this piece of paper, but right now it just feels kind of plain, doesn't it? Well, I think we should try to turn it into something else. What do you think we could do to turn it into something else? Can we turn it into something else? I've been thinking a lot recently about how God can take things and turn them into something else. Especially how God can take us and turn us into different kinds of people. People who are more loving and who care more for other people. And that God can take us even when we feel like maybe there's not a lot of things that we know that we're good at. And God can give us some sort of really cool and special job. Did you know that actually happened to a character in the Bible? His name was Saul. And Saul really wanted to serve God. But Saul was really wrong about what that means. He thought that it meant going to church a lot and knowing the Bible really well, but he didn't know that it also meant loving Jesus. In fact, he really didn't like Jesus, and he spent his time trying to keep people who loved Jesus from telling other people about Jesus. Until one day, something crazy happened. Saul was on the road, walking, probably on his way to go hurt some more people who love Jesus. And suddenly a huge blinding light came and he fell down on the ground. And a voice came and said, Saul, Saul, why are you hurting me? And Saul didn't know who it was, so he said, who are you? And the voice said, it's Jesus who you're hurting. Then Jesus sent Saul to go into town and to meet with someone named Ananias. And Ananias taught Saul about who Jesus is. And all of a sudden, Saul was able to understand who Jesus is and how much Jesus loved him. And you know, Jesus even gave him an important job to go out and tell other people about God's love through Jesus. And he made a huge, huge difference in our church. In fact, he changed his name to Paul and he wrote more than half of the New Testament. Isn't it amazing what God could do with someone who didn't really seem to be on God's side in the first place? Maybe if Saul was like this plain piece of paper, God made Paul into something like this, something different and something more beautiful and amazing. I wonder what God might be up to around you. And I hope you know that God has a plan for you and God probably has a special job for you to do. I wonder if you can ask God and help work to listen to God and hear God's voice. I'm so grateful for all that God does to transform us so that we can love God more. Let's say a prayer together. We're gonna do an echo prayer. So I'll say a line and I'd like you to pray it back with me. Let's pray now. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for transforming me. I love you too. In Jesus' name, amen.